welcome back to my channel, it's me Kate Amwa. I feel like I haven't done a sit down talky video in a while, so hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much to all my subscribers, I recently hit over 2,000, I'm so amazed and blessed, so thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. I don't really have much to update you on just yet, just because I still have my sewing in, but I'll be taking it out in about two to three weeks, and once I've done that, I'll be doing another hair update, so stay tuned for that. But now I'm just gonna get into this video. So I've had a few comments on some of my videos of people asking whether their hair needs a protein treatment or a moisturizing treatment and what may be causing the breakage that they're experiencing. Now there is a very simple test that you can do on your hair to see whether it needs a protein treatment or a moisturizing deep conditioner. Now I do suggest doing this test before every single wash day after shampooing, whether you use a sulfate free shampoo or a sulfate shampoo, whatever you use to cleanse your scalp, after you do that, I do suggest testing your strands just to see what you should deep condition with or what treatment you should use. It's something that I do every wash day. Now the test is really simple. You just take a strand of hair and you pull it. If your hair snaps straight away, that means it's dry and you need a moisturizing deep conditioner. Or if, it, if you pull your hair and it stretches really long before breaking off, then it means you have too much moisture and you need to do a protein treatment. If you pull your hair and it's just normal, it doesn't really break unless you use a lot of force, then that means you have the perfect balance between moisture and protein and you're pretty much free to do whatever you want to your hair. So first of all, I'm gonna go with the first scenario as you pull your hair and it snaps straight off. So in this instance, what you'd wanna do is deep condition your hair with a very good moisturizing deep conditioner. Check the ingredients of your deep conditioners before doing this because you never know, there could be some protein in there and that's not what you want if you've got too much protein in your hair already. A good moisturising deep conditioner I would recommend is one I'm using at the moment which is the Sheer Moisture Intensive Hydration Hair Mask, it looks like this. But there's tons of deep conditioners out there that you can use, that's just the one I'm using currently so I thought I'd show you guys. And um, yeah, you just do a good deep condition with it, follow up with a moisturising leave-in and then moisturise and seal your hair as normal. By the next wash day, assess your hair again and see if you still need to use more moisture or if it's corrected itself. Now if you fall in the second category and you've stretched it and it keeps going, going and then breaks off, then you need a protein treatment. Good examples of protein treatments are the ORS hair mayonnaise, which I just grabbed from my bathroom, and there's also the Aphrodite two-step protein treatment. Those two treatments are really good. I would recommend both of them to try. The only difference with doing a protein treatment is I'll still recommend following up with a moisturizing conditioner. Okay, let me remember where I was, my battery just died. Um, so after a protein treatment, follow up with a moisturizing conditioner and then go onto your leave-in, either a protein leave-in or one that's got both moisturizing and protein ingredients. And then by your next wash day, you can assess your hair and see if it's corrected the issue or if you still need a bit more protein, maybe follow up with a light protein treatment or something like that. Now if your hair falls in the third category, which is the perfect balance between moisture and protein, then it's totally up to you what treatment you follow up with. You can either do a moisturizing treatment or you could do a treatment that has both moisture and a light protein, such as the ORS for replenishing conditioner. This is a really good treatment to use on a weekly basis if your hair is quite balanced, just because it's not too much of one side. And that is about it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up. If you have experienced breakage, try this out and let me know how you find it in the comment section below. As I said before, subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and stay blessed.